In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the downstream O2 sensor in this Volkswagen Beetle. This is the O2 sensor that's behind the catalytic converter. Let's get into it. We're gonna take this cover off right here. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these plastic nuts off. Take this down. And you can see the O2 sensor connectors right here. For the downstream O2 sensor, we'll just disconnect this connector, slide this out, push down on the button, and it slides out. Set that aside for now. And we'll just take the wiring harness out of the clips. Then you want to use a O2 sensor socket. This is a 22 millimeter socket or a 7 8 and loosen it up. Once it's loose, you should be able to do it by hand. You wanna make sure the exhaust is not hot when you're doing this. You don't wanna burn yourself. And slide that out. Take the O2 sensor, line it up, get the thread started. socket, snug that down, now I take the wire, I'll line this up over here, this is going to go connect in to the brown connector, lock it down. Snug these down. You want to take the wiring harness, get that lined up in all these clips. Right there, out of the way. Now I'm going to torque the O2 sensor to 36 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.